unmanaged duplicates in Salesforce suck the life out of every go-to-market function, technology, campaign, and frontline salesperson's existence. However, solving the duplicate problem seems like such a daunting, multi-month initiative that will take a lot of resources and complex decisions. So unfortunately, go-to-market executives often avoid prioritizing their data hygiene, which destroys the value of any other investments made. No matter how expensive it is, the tool used to run your campaign will take your data at its word. Your ABM tool isn't going to assume that you have duplicate account data when scoring your accounts. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can find, merge, and eliminate duplicate records from your Salesforce quickly, accurately, and confidently. We're gonna set up a batch deduplication task and we'll focus on removing duplicate leads. First, we're going to define what a duplicate lead is by establishing robust matching rules that will be used to identify and group duplicate records. Second, we'll ensure the most valuable data is surfaced after the merge by creating survivorship and data archive rules. And you can archive any overwritten data point, so merging doesn't mean losing data. Finally, we'll prevent future duplicates with automated workflows. This process of not just removing, but preventing bad data ensures seamless lead routing, accurate marketing attribution, and an overall frictionless go-to-market engine. First, we'll create a new deduplication task and select lead as both our source and target object. As you can see, we can dedupe any standard or custom object and also match data at the cross object level. Now we can create our matching rules. Let's load one of Ringlead's default templates. In contrast to Salesforce's native deduplication functionalities, Ringlead's matching rules module allows us to use conditional Boolean criteria and fuzzy field matching operators across any combination of fields to identify and group duplicate records. Meaning in this rule set, a duplicate group is identified if two or more records have the same email address or if they have the exact same first name, last name, and company. I can also add granular field level fuzzy matching operators that will allow us to match non-exact fields like John and Jonathan and Acme Inc. and Acme Incorporated. These fuzzy matching operators can be applied differently across a variety of different field types. For example, in this rule set, we identify a duplicate group if they have the same first name, last name, and email domain, as we use the extract domain operator on the email field. And I can also create a new rule set that actually matches the email field against the website field by using the same extract domain operator. Anyway, after we finish creating our matching rules, we can actually save them as a template, which we can reuse in any task or real-time workflow. Next, we're going to set criteria to merge duplicates, where we're gonna combine all information and activity from a group of identified duplicates into a single master record. We're gonna review three of the modules that will allow us to preserve and prioritize the data that matters most to us. We'll start out by creating our master record rules, which waterfall at the record level and set the foundation for our survivorship criteria. Meaning, this rule that I just set up tells Cleanse to only keep the values from the newest record in the master. However, if our merge only retains values from the newest record, we could potentially be losing valuable data, like where did this lead come from? Or maybe I wanna combine all the activity when scoring this lead, as opposed to just accounting for the last activity. That's where surviving field values comes in. Here I could set up field level rules that will allow us to make exceptions to the master record rule and a lot more than just that. Here you can see that yes, I keep the lead source from the oldest record. And here I keep the email that uses a corporate domain. And here you can see that I'm archiving any data that gets overwritten into alternate contact info fields. Also for numeric fields like lead score, we have numeric operators to take the highest average or add all the values to get the total lead score representing all the activity of a person. And for pickless fields like status or lead lifecycle stage, we could prioritize which pickless values should be prioritized in the winning record. And for notes or activity history fields like description, we could concatenate those values into a single field to preserve all the notes or activity. After I create any additional data archive rules where I can append multiple overwritten values to a single field for safekeeping, I can click run a view. This will not process my task, but show me my results in the resolution screen where I can preview the duplicate groups and all of the changes about to take place. I can either process this task now or schedule this task to execute on a recurring basis. In this case, I'll schedule my task to execute every night at midnight. Setting up automated rules to resolve duplicates every day is essential, but to make sure that sales reps never get sent the wrong lead or that a customer is never mistaken for a prospect, you need to set up a system for ingesting data that intercepts and prevents duplicates in real time. 
In this scenario, we set up a workflow to run according to a Salesforce webhook that triggers whenever a lead is greeted, and we check that lead against multiple different objects. Additionally, we can assign these leads to a routing workflow that will assign them based on the workflow rules that we created according to the object match. And by cleansing, deduping, matching, and routing in a single flow, we can ensure that leads are always delivered to the right place fast. Let's review. Unmanaged duplicate data in Salesforce wreaks havoc on your go-to-market initiatives and demotivates your sales reps. But solving the duplicate problem doesn't have to be a multi-month initiative or have to mean losing valuable data. By using Ringlead's data orchestration platform, we were able to solve the duplicate problem according to our unique business criteria. By first, establishing robust matching rules to identify and group duplicate records. Second, we created survivorship criteria to ensure that the merge always preserved the most valuable data and archived any data that we don't want to lose. Finally, we created workflows to intercept and prevent duplicates in real time to ensure that the correct data is always sent to the correct sales rep, which not only provides a better user experience for our sales reps, but a better experience for our prospects and customers.